Here's a here's a question for the backpackers. Um, so you carry the food. Once you've eaten the food, is that worn weight? Big toy trucks uh, behind to play with. Uh, it's about two miles in. It's South Downs way. I'm doing um, uh, Queen Elizabeth Country Park, going out towards uh, Cocking, all the places. Uh, some of the names of these towns, all right? The, the innuendo is off the charts. Um, it's nice and cool. The last few days have been really, really hot. We've maybe not had rain for five, six weeks. Uh, it's alright, it's nice to be out. I don't recognise you with my uh, Taliban beard going on, so anyway, let's get hiking. So, walking down here. Uh, and all the hedgerow is covered in honeysuckle and it is literally, uh, you can't explain smells can you, um, it literally just smells of sweet honey like like a bag of sugar has been boiled off, um, it's incredible and it's just rained as well so I would have thought uh, all the dust has been dampened down so it smells a bit brighter but yeah, all the way along this hedge is honeysuckle. It smells lovely, and I'm hungry now. That's the first person I've seen on the trail. So, I thought, thought I had the whole South Downs way to myself. switchbacks down there going over that in the next probably 40 minutes can't describe the colour of that just deep deep purple magenta uh, and it stands out because there's nothing else. Well, there's a couple of trees here, but these are beautiful. I see these from the top of the hill. Um, no idea what tree it is. Maybe somebody can write in the comments, but that's beautiful. Look at this here. It's kind of like a parasol just hanging over the road.
just in case you don't know how to walk, there's a sign showing you how to walk. That looks like a lunch chair to me there. Don't you love it when I just put a gate in the middle of nowhere? Actually, I think it's for, it's for electrifying, but it's just random, like a, a random gate on its own. Like, uh, and if I go through it, will I go to another universe? But anyway, I see a lunch seat down here and this, is worth looking at so we're at Harting down uh i think i'm at mile 17. don't know not counting not important so i am definitely gonna sit here make a little snack enjoy some views Try not to doze off and sleep. But uh beacon over there, that's where we started this morning about um about 9.30 and it's probably one o'clock now, so uh we've done alright. We've done alright, some good speed. This is little village of Harting down here, so Can have one of those bit posh, those, aren't they? Uh, and I'll stick one of those in as well. No, you going in there. I'm going to put on just another little light jacket. You feel like eating these until you eat a few, and then you eat the whole packet. But they're quite nice. Okay. Snack for later. Up with time. Um. Only takes like only a minute and a half to boil. Probably got 300 ml of water in there. Um. Yeah, just under 300 ml, but a minute and a bit. Um, so yeah, primer stove, uh, primer stove, not the jet boil thing, um, actually I think this is around before the jet boil, uh, it's alright, I like it, I like it a lot. Need some, um, Need some calories.
That's going there, that's going there, that's getting stirred in. I'm going to let it cool down for like a day because we all know you go walking, coffee, hot lips, misery. to walking down here we were walking up to get to here uh, so these are called PUDs right P-U-D-S pointless ups and downs uh, kind of just got to get it done haven't you? down these chalk uh, paths sucks balls really um noise on the floor it's it's i mean it's jet black i don't know what kind of stone this is right it's jet black shiny incredibly sharp uh, and then the gravel around it is just really loose so it's like skidding on marble so um a walking pole which is taking uh, my weight but yeah we I mean, just look at the steep banks here Beautiful walking, but punishing on the knees. Okay, I um, so I started at um, Butts Hill this morning. I was about to ten, uh, it's about half past nine, I think. So, and I've walked, um, yeah. So I walked the South Downs way. I was going to end at a place called Cocking. Appropriate. Um, but that's just a little bit further uh, than I wanted to go. So, and then there's a little village here called um, Diddling. So, um, the innuendo of the names are just staggering. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to Diddling. Um, I won't be going because it's cocking. Um, so, what an incredible day. Um, what's an absolutely incredible day. Um, the South Downs is beautiful. I pretty much had it to myself. Uh, I don't think I saw more than six people. And, and you know, there were three lads that were doing a... Uh, so they're cycling from Winchester to Eastbourne. I think they're doing a whole hundred miles. I think they're going to cowboy camp tonight, which is kind of cool. Um, they started at Winchester this morning. That and a lady with a little girl... They're the only people that I've seen today. Um, looking at the weather this past weekend, I bet it was rammed. Um, there's been some bits of trail magic, I want to say. Um, as close as you could call it that. But, uh, but yeah, jugs of water left out. Um, there was a... I forgot to take a photo. At the top of the hill there, there was a uh, there's some big plastic, like Tesco's jugs of water, and a big bowl of sweets um, that was starting to get rain-filled. So... Um, I kind of took the lid off and kind of had a few. Um, yeah, don't often see that here. I think um, I think it's rather cool. But um, going down these, going down these chalk um, lanes, these chalk trails, man, they, they, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? It's just like it's like loose marbles, um, just constantly skidding, and it doesn't. You know, I got some quite aggressive grip on some trail runners um 
lone piece um, and um, yeah really struggling to get any kind of purchase so um, yeah thigh muscles are on full overload at the minute and screaming at me um, but what an amazing day what an absolutely amazing day